All right, welcome to part three. We're going to do some rough shaping of our uh, picks on this, uh, this segment. Uh, you'll see what I've done so far is I have taken the original pick and I've traced it uh, using the, scra the awl to etch into the metal and then I've put black uh, mark slot into there so it, it'll, it won't rub off very easily. And they're all identical. I've also drawn a line here on each of them. That's where I'm going to take my Dremel tool and cut it off. And I've made it a good distance away from the pick. The reason I've done that is because a Dremel tool wheel, high speed wheel, is going to generate a lot of heat. I don't want the heat of the cutting to affect the tip of my pick. That would be a bad thing. So I'm not going to be quenching it. I'm just going to cut it far enough away so that the heat doesn't spread to the tip. I'm going to cut each of them. The other thing I've done, I've marked the three thicknesses. We're going to be making three picks in these three different thicknesses. Uh, I'm going to take one of the optional steps, at least I'm going to do it off camera. I'm going to take my etcher and I'm simply going to etch on both sides the dimension. And I do that when I make multiple picks of thickness, different thicknesses because I don't want to be putting my pick of 15 thousandths onto a rough grinding wheel without realizing how delicate the material is. So by etching it on there, that for me at least kind of a protection mechanism. Uh, okay, so what you will need, you will need your Dremel tool with a cutoff wheel. It doesn't matter if it's diamond or carbide or whatever. As long as you can cut through this metal, you're, you're good to go. The other thing you're going to need for roughing this in uh, will be some kind of grinder. It doesn't matter. 6 inch, 8 inch, 12 inch, really, it really honestly doesn't matter. Uh, you could even use your Dremel tool, although it's a little rougher. You've got to be a lot more careful, uh, but you could conceivably use a Dremel to grind these out. So this is just, it's incredibly easy and I'm, I'm really surprised more people don't make their own picks. Okay, so let's get on with the rough, rough uh, grinding and uh, shaping. Okay, we got everything in the vise and I've taken a plastic liner and I put it in here to protect the pick handle because we're going to be trying to polish this to a real high shine later and if the, uh, if the vise leaves marks all over it, it's going to make our job a lot harder. Okay, we're going to be using our Dremel tool. We're simply going to be cutting along this line so as always wear your safety equipment, eye protection, ear protection and just so you know I'm wearing two condoms right now to protect myself. So here we go. Nothing to it. Okay, we got everything cut to length as you see. Nothing affected by the heat. Um, we got next to our grinder. We're going to begin rough cutting. I, it doesn't matter the texture of the grinder. In fact, this is a, a, a coarse wheel. We're just going to take the material off and get it close to the lines on here. We're not going to go over the lines. We're not going to try to get a precise cut right now. We're going to get that later. We just want to get all the, the big parts of the metal ground off. Now an important part of this uh, is we got a little water. We're going to grind for a second and then quench it in the water because we do not want the heat of the grinding to affect the metallurgical properties of our picks because it will weaken it. It'll make it brittle or it'll make it soft and we want to avoid that. You probably notice I'm wearing gloves. Uh, this really is not for protection. It's so that when this blade, this uh, one horsepower bench grinder, throws one of these pieces of sharp metal through my hand uh, these rubber gloves will keep the blood on the inside so it doesn't, when I run into the house screaming it doesn't get blood on the carpet or the floor because that really pisses my wife off. So anyway, there we go. Let's start grinding. Okay, we got that. I uh, got through it with no injuries whatsoever. No damage to my hands, which is a, always a good thing. You can see we've got them roughed in. They're still, you know, quite a bit different. Got some rounding things and the edges are very, very sharp. Haven't even sanded them yet, but uh, this was the rough shaping stage and we've got that done. And I think that's long enough for this video. So, um, uh, the next step is, of course, is going to be the fine finishing or the, uh, the fine shaping. So uh, we'll end this now and see you in the next video.